This is a place where they like it cold, even in winter. It's the city's biggest ice hockey arena, the Air Canada Centre. Making ice that can survive a hockey game is both a science and an art. Like 200 pound guys traveling at 15 kilometers an hour, stopping on about a quarter of an inch, digging into the ice. When you make ice in your freezer, you just stick the ice in and forget about it. It's not the same here. The secret of Brian's perfect hockey ice is hidden 15 feet under the surface. A thick bed of dirt and gravel covered with styrofoam insulates the rink from the warm ground below. A slab of concrete sits on top. Six miles of steel piping filled with a supercoolant chills the concrete to 19 degrees. The ice makers spray water on top, which freezes instantly. Then a coat of white paint and another layer of water, and the ice is finished with a perfect thickness of one inch. This is probably our last time to measure the ice today. The more times you measure it, the easier it gets at managing it. One inch. Making the ice, we have a very, very finite amount of time. We have to really, really scramble. We have an event virtually every night. Keeping the ice frozen takes a lot of power, even in the middle of winter. Electricity plays a major role in running this facility. We have 283,000-watt metal halide lights at the top of our arena here to shine on the players. Our ice plant has three 125 horsepower uh, chillers, and it's running, especially on a game day like today, all day long. If there was no electricity here, we would not be playing hockey. During a game, this rink consumes four megawatts of electricity, enough to power over 3,000 homes. But in a city of 2.5 million people, that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> 